Hi guys. In this lecture, we are going to add an HMI device to an existing TIA project. In the previous lecture, you got to download two archived TIA projects. Refill HMI, which is our finished TIA project containing a complete HMI and PLC application, and Refill HMI Work. This is the project we'll be working on during this course, and it includes only a PLC program to start with. As mentioned before, the PLC program is described in full detail in my other course, Siemens TIA Portal PLC Programming Basics. So if you're interested in knowing the inside outs of this PLC application, check out that other course. As you can see here on the screen, I have already retrieved and opened the Refill HMI Work project. So let's jump into it. We are going to add an HMI device here to our TIA project. We do this by going to the project tree structure on the left side of our screen and selecting Add New Device. Now in this next pop-up screen, we can choose which device we would like to add to our project. We are going to add an HMI device, so we select HMI here. Now Siemens offers different types of panels for different types of needs and applications. If you'd like to know more about the different types of panels, I have attached a PDF brochure to the resource section of this lecture where you can read up about the different panels on offer. Since this course is more focused on the software side of things, we will not be going too deep into the different types of panels. For our sample application, we are going to choose a somatic comfort panel and because our application is relatively small, we'll go with a 9 inch display. Most of the Siemens TIA panels are defined by the letters TP, KP or KTP in front of the name. TP stands for touch panel, KP means key panel and KTP means key and touch panel. Let's go for the modern choice here and choose a touch panel. We're selecting the latest firmware version, version 14 for this panel. And as you can see in the description, our panel delivers 800 times 480 pixels with 16 million colors. It has a Profibus and Profinet interface and the possibility to use multimedia cards like SD cards for storage. Now before we press OK here at the bottom of the pop-up screen, I would like to let you know that you can choose to use a device wizard when selecting a new device. When enabling this device wizard here at the bottom left, TIA Portal will take you through some setup and configuration steps after pressing the OK button. We are intentionally not going to use this wizard here, because the wizard kind of bypasses some important key concepts of building HMI applications in TIA Portal, which I would like to share with you. So no wizard here. We press on OK, and our brand new HMI device has been added to the tree structure. Let's just rename it by selecting the device and pressing F2, and we'll call this HMI device HMI Refill. Great, so that's done. So now that we have an HMI device in our project, let's connect it to our PLC. To edit the configuration of an HMI device, or any device in TIA Portal for that matter, we select Device Configuration right underneath the device name. Now we are in the device view and our TP900 comfort panel is displayed on the screen. If we now go to the network view, we can see that our PLC is already connected to the existing Profinet subnet pn slash ie underscore one. Our HMI device is not connected yet. By right clicking on the Profinet interface of the HMI device and selecting properties, we open up the properties view. Now under Ethernet addresses, we can assign a subnet to our device. So we select the existing subnet pn slash ie underscore one, and now our HMI device is connected via the Profinet subnet to our PLC device, so our panel will be able to communicate with the PLC. Now you have the possibility here as well to change the IP address of the panel, but we will just leave it as it is. So that concludes this lecture. In this lecture, we've gone through the steps of adding an HMI device to a TIA project and we made communication possible between our HMI and PLC by connecting the HMI device to the same Profinet subnet as the PLC. In our next lecture, we're going to have a look at how to add PLC tags to our HMI application in a very efficient and time-saving way. So I'm excited to share this with you and I'm looking forward to see you in the next lecture. Bye for now.